Hi, this is Jason from Spiritual Babies, and I thought I'd do a short video looking today at two particular sites that may help you with your Bible studies. I've done um, a video already on Bible study using Bible CC, which is a great resource and has really good links to places where you can pull the Greek and the Hebrew from the English and have a look back at the roots. Although the site is very good and I go with it all the time, there can be a tendency on some websites to bias towards one particular doctor, doctrine or understanding of the um, evidence and of the text. So I thought today I'd have a look at some other sites which I use. But before we go to those, let's use an example so we can show some sort of comparison. So here we are at um, BibleCC.com, BibleCC.com, or um, Biblos. You can type in Biblos or BibleCC.com into Google, and you should come up with this page. On the top left-hand corner of this page, you can do searches for up here. You can do searches for particular verses, um, or over in the search bar in the middle, you can do searches for particular words or phrases, and then underneath those, we've got a whole load of little icons. And if you highlight them, it will tell you what they mean. So this one's devotions, this one is the Greek, this one is the Hebrew, etc. So we're going to look today at Exodus 25:18, and a particular term that is used in most Bibles called the mercy seat, which is part of the Ark of the Covenant which is in uh, this coming week's Torah portion, Terumah, and we're going to have a little look at the Ark of the Covenant and the Mercy Seat and have a look at what the text says in various translations. And then we're going to go back to the original source, the Hebrew, and see what that says. And uh, we'll try something out. So this is the Ark of the Covenant, or at least an interpretation of it. We don't really know what cherubs are or cherubin are, we can only assume that the people that built this understood what they were. The instructions not in the Torah, the instructions that aren't in the Bible. The a description isn't really in the Bible. We know that there's some sort of wing involvement, and we know that they they faced the containing unit. So this is really um, my, um, if you like, license, my artistic license being uh, expressed in this little. Um, picture but you can clearly see that it's um, some sort of box with a lid and on the lid there are two figures that's, and that's as much as we really know. So let's have a look at all the places where this phrase uh, mercy seat comes up within the Bible. So there are 27 different times uh, where the, this phrase mercy seat in English makes an appearance or at least uh, the word seat um, with mercy attached to it. So we can see it um, throughout the Torah. For, um, Exodus, it pops up a few times, and we can see there that the King James Version has ends of the mercy seat, even the end of the mercy seat, covering the mercy seat with wings. Um, as I scroll down this page, and you shall put the mercy seat above, and the I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat. So it's mercy seat, mercy seat, mercy seat, mercy seat, mercy seat. Uh, scan forward here, which is going to make the screen a bit blurry into Leviticus, and still we see mercy seat, mercy seat, mercy seat. There's a lot going on with this mercy seat. Okay, so we'll scroll back up to the top. And this is where I want to take you to some different sites. This first one, a favorite of mine, is on Chabad.org. I'll place a link under the video to this page. Um, at, to the main page and to this page, and it's if you're interested in Torah and understanding different perspectives of Torah and how Torah was originally approached and historically approached and is approached today by millions and millions of people and look at different lessons and things like that. Tons of resources on here, it's fantastic. And this is just one of them. So it's the Complete Jewish Bible. Uh, it has a, a commentary, uh, the Rashi commentary, if you're interested in listening to what he had to th say about this. And on it is a little search box where we can have a look at the Hebrew Bible, Tanakh, translated um, here. So we're going to have a look at this one of this one of the same verses as we've just looked at, Exodus 25:18. And the search engine is really easy to use. Um, if you're not familiar with the way the Hebrew Bible is split up, there are three parts: the uh, the, the Torah or the Pentateuch, um, Nevi'im, the Prophets, and Ketuvim, 
the scriptures and we're looking at Exodus which is in the Torah, the first five books of the five books of Moses, the first five books of your Bible. We're going to Exodus and twenty five. So we're gonna scroll down here and click on go. And there we go, Exodus chapter twenty five. So we're going to scroll down here to 18 and see what it says. Okay. And you shall make two golden cherubim, and you shall make them of hammered work for the two ends of the ark cover. You read that? Ark cover. So um, no mercy seat in this particular version. Also, what's really great on this site is um, it's interlinear and you've got the Hebrew on the one side and you've got the English on the other so if you want to and if you're studying Hebrew you can or well, if you can read Hebrew brilliant um, then you can go and check that this translation matches the original Hebrew text um, but we don't want one just one witness so let's try a different version of this translation so here we are on a different page, a uh, different site. This is mechonmamre.org, and I um, apologize if my pronunciation is off there. It's a free resource, and there's a lot of good stuff on here. It might not be the prettiest and have uh, lots of nice flashy graphics, but it's an engine that serves up the Torah and the contents of the Tanakh in a really easy and accessible way. It's got some fantastic stuff on here. It's available in English, in Hebrew, and in a mixture of the two, interlinearly, and it also has, if you want to go looking for it, MP3s of the entire Tanakh. So if you are interested in the way it sounds when it's being spoken, or if you are interested in the vocal pronunciation and sound of the words, if you're studying Hebrew, learning Hebrew, you can download a section or the complete Tanakh and test yourself, or just listen to the Bible being read in the way it's meant to be read, which is really lovely and, and a blessing for anyone, so I'd recommend that. It's um, very nice to read it in the English and listen to it in the Hebrew, and you get like a, a really good immersive experience. So, we are going to look at the same passage in this translation of the, of the Hebrew. And again, I'm going to put a link up to this page as well so you can come and uh, test it for yourself and use it. So we um, can see on the left here we've got the Torah of the Prophets and the writings again it's divided into three and we're going to go to Exodus and so we're in Exodus <laughs> and at the top of the page you will see that all the chapters are divided up and we need to go to chapter 25 so we're going to click on that and now I'm going to zoom you down to verse 18 and move you across to verse 18 where it says and thou shalt make two cherubim of gold of beaten work shall thou make them at the ends of the art cover at the two ends of the art cover so again there's no mercy seat here so that's our second witness and um, it's fair to say now that if we look in a Tanakh that's translated from the Hebrew into the English we're not going to see the word mercy seat. So, are these translations um, misunderstood, or uh, and the mercy seat word is a better translation of the Hebrew word, or are we um, misunderstood in using the phrase mercy seat? Was that the intended word for this object? Well, why don't we go back to the um, the Christian Bible Search website, um, Bible CC, and see what it says when we dig it a little deeper into that web page. So snap, we're back. Exodus 25.18 and we can see that the King James Version says at the end of the mercy seat. So we're going to zoom into Exodus 25.18. We can do this by, by clicking on the little button. Which brings us, brings us to this page where we can see the Hebrew words and they are laid out in the order that they are spelled out in the Hebrew text. A transliteration of those words if you want to try and phonetically pronounce these words and uh, the English for these words shall make two cherubim of gold of hammered make the two ends of the mercy so in the English here it says of the mercy here's the Hebrew word 
and here's the transliteration of the Hebrew word. So I'll jump in the fire first and try and pronounce this. Hakaporet. Now my tiny amount of Hebrew lets me know that the ha is uh, separate from these. So it's more likely pronounced hakaporet. Ha is um, this letter here, which will um, kind of is like the. So it's um, saying the, whatever kaporet means. But we can find out what kaporet means now. What we what we need kaporet to mean, to prove that this translation is fair, is we need it to mean mercy. So let's have a little look by clicking on it. So here we are. This is all the instances of um, of hakaporet in the Tanakh, or in, at least in this version of the Tanakh. And as we scroll down, we can see that the word mercy is used all of the time. So, does this mean that this word is translated as mercy in every instance of the Bible? Or does it mean that this word is completely unique to this object? In which case, any good translation, that even if it made a mistake on um, what the word means, should use that same translation in every instance. But we can have a look at what it means because there's also a Strong's concordance word for the, uh, which, moving over to the other side of the page, we can see is Strong's Hebrew 3727. Now, if we click on this, if we click on it, we can see that this word, kaporeth, short definition is seat. Now, if we go back to the original instances of uh, kaporeth, we have to ask ourselves why the word mercy is in there. Now, it's not for me to say anything against anyone's particular translation. Um, really, the point of this video was to show two online, easily available resources which are free that might be able to open a few doors um, and give people a wider perspective or perhaps um, a view on an, a particular word or, or subject which they haven't ha had before or you maybe didn't even know these things that um, these two sites existed and these aren't the only two there are tons of great resources out there so um that was my video i would um encourage you to read through the coming uh weeks torah portion it's a it's a corker lots of really fantastic stuff lots of um unfolding and unpacking that needs to be done on it we send out a kind of a an email every week of uh, the Torah portion um, with the Hebrew, the English, and the um, the Hebrew Bible and the Christian Bible and audio versions, as well as some really, really fantastic teachings on the Torah portion for that week. Some fun ones and some more in-depth ones, depending on how much um, time you want to put in. So please feel free to come to spiritualbabies.net and you can sign up for those. They're absolutely free. We send them out every week. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, um, please leave them below, and we'll talk to you very soon. Shalom.